Hey guys, it's Hague here, and uh, this video I'm going to show you some tips that you can use if you uh, have malware and you're not able to get to the internet and you're trying to remove a malware infection. So there's numerous reasons why you may experience a problem trying to get online when you're infected with a virus or spyware. And uh, some of the common signs are is it sets a proxy server or, it, or uh, you know, hijack your host file so you can't, you know, you can't uh, get on to the internet. So other times it changes your home page or other times it sets security preferences or whatnot. So I'm gonna show you some tips here in which you can use to try to get online if you're infected with some malware and you're trying to get online and download and stuff and you just can't get online. So the very first thing is, we'll try in Google Chrome here, is what you wanna look for is you wanna to go to your settings and in your settings, you want to click extensions and you want to remove any on extensions that you are not familiar with because sometimes you will get an extension in here that will redirect your browser or will interfere with you downloading a file that will uh, otherwise help your computer or it could even be an extension in here that you have that will block you from, you know, getting online or, or will block you from browsing the web at least, uh, redirect you. So you want to remove any unnecessary extensions in here. And uh, if you go back in your settings, another thing you want to look for is you want to go all the way down to on startup, click set specific pages, and you want to make sure you put this to www.google.com. Click OK, and uh, you can close out of Google Chrome, open Google Chrome, and hopefully you get Google to come up. Now, if you have a more serious infection, it may not even, this may still not work, you still may not be able to access the internet, and that's totally fine, and I'll show you what you can do about that. So, uh, if you still can't get on to Google, or you're getting pop-ups still, what you want to do is you want to, uh, exit out of the browser and uh, you want to get into your control panel so if you're running on Windows uh, 7 X or XP you can click your start menu and you'll find your control panel on the start menu if you're running on Windows 8 or 10 what you want to do is right click the start menu and then you'll find control panel here so you open up the control panel and what you want to do is you want to click on system or I mean network and internet security our network and internet and click internet options so when you get the internet options open you want to also make your home page google www.google i'm just making sure you make it google just because it's a good secure site to have as your home page to help if this may have been changed by some malware you know so you want just make sure you have it google once you do that you want to click connections and this is the most important one of the most important steps here so when you click connections come down to land settings you want to make sure you're not having it checked on automatically configured script or you don't want to make if it's checked on say it's checked use a proxy server for your land if these settings are checked that's a very good chance that whatever malware you had on your computer is set up a proxy server that's preventing you from getting online so on check use a proxy server on check automatic configuration script the only thing that you want to have checked in here is automatically the text sentence and then you click OK and then you would click apply okay so after you do that click advance and then you want to click restore advanced sentence and then you want to down here you want to click reset delete personal sentence because some of this could have been tampered with by malware click reset I'll go ahead and reset that Now let's hope you can get online now, and you still may not be able to get online. You may have a uh, malware that configured your computer or hijacked your host file. So if that's the case, we'll show you how to fix that. So try to get online now. So we'll open up our browser once again. And if you still can't get online, try a different browser, try Internet Explorer. Or whatever if you have a different browser you can always try that 
and if you still can't get online on any of your browsers you know what you want to do is you want to close out your browser and just make sure that down here you have it you know you're connected to your network and everything is it says you're connected you know what I mean and if you still can't get to the browser what you want to do is you want to reset your host file so uh, to do that you're going to need another software so if you can't get to the internet at all you want to get a USB stick and transfer this over onto another computer so I'm going to assume you can't get onto the internet so get onto a different computer and download something called host expert do this over a different computer download host expert off a you know major geeks website and put that onto a flash drive and then put it into your infected computer so I'm just gonna assume we're doing this on a different computer so. all right files not found here I'll go to a different website and let's get this Alright, so download the host expert. As I said, what you want to do with host expert is transfer it over to your infected computer by a USB stick or whatever. Once you have host expert here on your computer, open up the zip file and in the folder you open up host expert and click run. Oh, it's gonna you click yes. And in here, it's going to populate your host file. So what you want to do is you want to uh, have this window open. And while this window is open, you want to click your your start menu. You click File or Explore. You're running Windows 8. You're running Windows 8. If you look at the very bottom, you have the folder down on your start bar. Click that. That will open up this. If you're running XP, Windows 7, click your start menu. Click Computer or My Computer. You want to go to your uh, heart, your uh, C drive. Click this PC. You want to go to your C drive. Click your C drive. Come down and look for the Windows folder. Come down and look for uh, a folder called uh, System32. In System32, look for a folder called ETC or Driver. Sorry. Look for a folder called Drivers. When you find your Drivers folder, click on that. Look for a folder called ETC and look for a folder called Host. When you find the Host file, right click, go into Properties. What you want to do is you want to click on Security and you want to click on uh, your username. The username's here. You know what I mean. Click Edit. So you click here and allow full control to modify the file, click system and administer. You just want to make sure they're, they're checked so you can have permission, you know, allowing full control and all that kind of stuff. Click apply, click yes. Click uh, users, do the same. Check allow full control. Just make sure these boxes are checked full control. All right. When you have that done, you can right click on the host file and open it with a notepad and you'll see the text here here's your host file so when you have notepad open you can now uh, exit out of the uh, notepad and uh, you should be able to right click and delete the uh, host file when it's deleted you want to open up the uh, ex host expert and we'll click uh, restore MS host file and this is just a copy of, this, of the original host file that hasn't been modified with the malware potentially so click restore missing host file click OK and that will go ahead and it will write you a new host file so now here's our new host file and you can see if you open it up in notepad it's now got a brand new host file here freshly put in here and uh, restart the computer and try to browse the web again and uh, hopefully that's uh, corrected the uh, browser problem.
And if you can't get online still, then you may want to uh, you may want to reinstall Windows. And if that's the case, because you're probably too heavily infected. And uh, I really hope this was useful for you to troubleshoot problems when you are having to remove malware on a computer that can't connect to the internet. So uh, if you need more uh, instructions on how to uh, replace the host file, I have a second video out on my channel, which I'll have in the description box. It's a more thorough detail. So uh, hopefully by doing those steps, you've resolved your issues so you can browse the web at least, and then you can now download the software and remove malware off your system. And if you need help removing malware, there's another video I have that explains how to remove malware. It's like a 30 or 40 minute long video. So that video is link is in the description box as well. So check that video out as well. And remember, I also offer remote support. So I'll help you remove malware on the computer. If you go to my Facebook account, the link for that is also in the description box. Remember, comment, write, and subscribe on this video and have a good day.